Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another tip for you. Um, before I was working on Zara Web Designer and I was creating a, an accordion style text box and um, it was working just fine and all, but I had gotten some questions, so I wanted to answer a few of them. And it's what exactly you can put in the box um, and how it would flow, what would happen if it was too big, can I put images, can I put videos, can I put iframes? So we're gonna work with each one of these, okay? So here we're gonna put some text, here we're gonna put some images, here we're gonna put some video, and here we're gonna actually put some websites and see how each one of these works, okay? So first let's start with the text. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just get some lorem ipsum, so I'm gonna get some paragraphs here. And uh, we're going to start with some long, uh, a lot of um, paragraphs, see well, how that works. So what we do is we're going to go to uh, Text Wrangler. Now, uh, once again, um, I was working with uh, Zara Web Designer, but since I love my Mac and there's no Zara Web Designer for the Mac, I'm using Text Wrangler now and I use Adobe Muse sometimes, but um, I'm really starting to realize that if you want to be able to have some freedom from um, software, learn to code from scratch. So uh, it took me a long time to learn that, but I finally did learn it. So here we're gonna go with the paragraphs here. We're going to um, go ahead and make this ending paragraph. Okay, so now we save that. We bring it back over here and we reload. And as you can see, we have the text. It closes, but unfortunately, since this is more than the height of the actual um, box right here, this actual panel, um, I'm having trouble with being able to see everything. So there's two ways to fix that. The first way, is we're going to go up to the panel. We want to get to the target. The target is at 15 EM and 15 EM is 15 times 16. Okay. So instead of 15 EM, we're going to go to auto, save it, refresh. And as you can see now the entire amount fits. Okay. Very nice. But what if we don't want that? What if we want the actual, uh, in, input to be this, the right size, but be able to have scroll bars here. So to do that, we go back to the 15 EM. Here's the actual EM here. And then we're going to do overflow auto. And now it scrolls. See, so now we, we've maintained the height and how everything works here. And now we can do just scrolling here. Now, just a little tip, just in case you don't remember, if you want that to work on your iPad or iPhone or anything like that, you need to add one more thing and that's WebKit scroll, uh, overflow scrolling. touch. Now it'll work on your iPad too. Okay. So now we've taken care of, um, text and text works just fine. Not a problem with the text at all. Um, now let's try to see, we're going to use the same thing with each one of these, uh, because it'll apply to everyone. So let's try some images. So here I have we're going to go to images here and we're going to go ahead and use Dropbox. So I'm going to go to Dropbox here. And go to public. And just go to some pics here. So here I have a few pics and we're going to just use a, a couple of these pics like this picture here and this picture here and this fancy J here. So these three. Okay. So let's start with the first one. I'm going to say copy public link. We're going to go here and just add images. So 
image source. So we're adding three images. So we're going to go ahead and just copy this. We're going to make sure that they're after each other. Okay, so let's add the first one. And then we're going to add the second one. And then we're going to add this third one. Okay, I'm going to save it and go to our uh, thing, re refresh, and here you have it. So obviously, we don't want to make them that big like that. So let's go back to the images here and make sure that all of our images are at 100%. Now, when we re refresh here, oops, I got to save. I always forget to save. So now all of our images are at 100%. Okay. So there you go. This J is of low quality. That's why. Okay. So now we have all the images in there. We can put an entire image inside. Now we're going to try videos. So to do videos, let's go to YouTube. Okay. And we're going to save it. So we're going to share like we normally do. We're going to embed it. We're not going to use the uh, playlist. And uh, we're going to make this 400. Gives me the height already. And then we copy this. And we're going to put the video in here. So here's videos. We're going to put the video right in here. So the iframe video, we're going to save. We're going to go to our, here's the images, here's the text, and here's that video that we have in here. And it works perfectly. Okay. So of course we can take this iframe and we could do all kinds of things to it instead of making it 400 by 225 we can make it smaller or bigger it's just really up to you and um, and that works okay so now let's say you wanted to um, put a page in here so you can do that same thing here too so we're gonna take here and we're gonna make a little box and we're gonna name well, actually, we don't have to name it anything. So within that box, we're going to put um, some links. So we're going to make this one video or site one. Site 2 and Site 3. Okay, so that's our first little box. And then actually, let's give it an ID and call it Frame Links. Okay, let's just call it that. And then we're going to make another one here. Div, and we're going to name this one sites. Okay. And of course, you can name this anything you want. Here's your div. Okay. Now, within that div, we're going to make an iframe. And that iframe is going to be the ID of um, site frame and then we're going to name it site frame now remember the name is important because that's what we're going to actually link to we're going to link to the site frame name so there we have it and then we got to source it 
And for this source, we're just going to put my website, which is uh, HTTP www.robertomusic.org. Okay. So that's the source. And then we got to say frame border is zero. Okay. So there we have it. So right here, we're going to put the site one. We're going to put href equals HTTP www.robertomusic.org. We're going to name that site one. Now, remember, the target is what's important. So the target is going to be what we named it here. We named it site frame. So the target is going to be site frame target equals site frame. Same thing here. So we save that refresh. Now we have site one, site two, site three. If we say site one comes up there, site two, site three. See, like I said, these won't work so let's use different sites so let's go http oops sorry yeah http um let's try just some sites that i know work Okay, so now we have site number two comes up and site number three also comes up. Okay, so why did we put those in boxes? Well, we put those in boxes because now we can format these to make them look nice. So for example, we have the, uh, we have the iframe. Okay, so we have here the iframe links, the frame links, sorry and the sites. So we're going to go to the frame links. The, the, uh, and target the, uh, the anchors and say text decoration, none. We're going to say, Padding, four pixels all around, background, blue, color, white. And now we have little buttons here. Uh, we're going to do border radius, seven pixels. And then uh, we're going to say something when they hover. So when you put your mouse over it, I want this to change. So I want to, oh, we're going to do a thin border here. Okay. And then what I want is the background to be white and the color to be blue. So it's just going to reverse on me. So here you go. Very good. We're going to go to the sites iframe. Actually, we're just going to, we can just target the site frame. And then we got to do the overflow, right? There you go. 
Very good. And now we have the uh, the frame that we can give it a little border just so we can see everything. Thin blue, oops, thin. And now we can see everything. Very nice. So that's how you do texts. That's how you put images in the accordion. You can put videos in the accordion. And you can even link to frames within the frames. So if you have any other questions, please let me know. Um, have a wonderful day.